So you're looking to move to the Glover Park neighborhood of Washington, D.C. Well, today I'm going to take you around, show you a few different properties at different price points so you can hopefully find something in your budget. In this neighborhood currently, they range from one-bedroom condos at around $300,000 all the way up to Wardman-style row homes around $1.5 million at the, at the top of the market. We'll show you uh, part, of the, part of the neighborhood where you would live, eat, sleep, uh, entertain. Uh, we'll focus on uh, a big chunk of Wisconsin Avenue, take you to Guy Mason Park, drive you around the neighborhood, as well as show you a few different properties. Today at the end, we'll do a current market recap report so you know exactly what's going on in Glover Park. Now, if this is your first time at this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, living in D.C., the good and the bad, subscribe below, hit the like button, as well as the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know the current market in D.C. My name is James Reed and I get calls and emails all the time from people just like you looking to make the move to D.C. We absolutely love it. You can send us an email, shoot us a text, give us a call, or even schedule a Zoom to get that conversation started. As I mentioned, we're in Glover Park, so we're going to take you around, show you a little bit of the neighborhood, as well as a few different properties at various price points, so you can hopefully find something in your range. As you see, it's a pretty busy urban area, starting with the main center of it, looking up towards the Russian Embassy, you can see there's a few restaurants and shops, Indian place is pretty good, as well as an Italian restaurant, there's an Italian restaurant over there. A few places closed due to COVID, so if you're fast casual, you get your Chipotle, your post office, your Domino's, and the like. As you can see, we've got Guy Mason Field, we've got an outdoor kitty park, it's pretty popular. We've got outdoor activities, outdoor fitness centers, we've got the Guy Mason Rec Center, which I'll give you a closer view of. We've got a doggy park, we also have this really neat, let's see if we can give you a better view here. It's really neat baseball diamond where we do a little softball leagues, Glover Park Day is held here. A lot of, a lot of uh, outdoor festivals, things like that. All right, guys, here's a little bit more of Guy Mason Rec Center and Field. You can see there's basketball courts. Got the Rec Center directly behind me where you can hold neighborhood classes like pottery and yoga. And when you live here, actually, this is going to be your voting center if you vote in person. And uh, probably pick it up. Maybe it's a little bit over here. One of the neighborhood dog parks. Probably hear them barking. Apologize for the light. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here. Clear blue sky, but that's that's that sun is shining on my bald head like nothing else. So I just had to hit the shade here so you could see a little bit more of the field and everything that goes on here for rec recreational activities. I got all all the kid park behind me as well. A lot to do here. There's a kinder care behind me, which is right about there. And uh, if you need childcare before preschool, that'd be a good option for you in this neighborhood. I would suggest calling them pretty much as soon as you get pregnant. If you want to get on a waiting list, competition is fierce in DC for all things childcare related. Uh, there's always a waiting list. Certainly not a cheap option, but it is nice to have in the neighborhood. All right, so now we're gonna go around the neighborhood, show you a few different properties. Hope you enjoy. All right, we're at our first property today where this building actually has three units on the market. It has two one bedroom, one bath, as well as a two bedroom, one bath. Usually the neighborhood isn't as loud as this, but they have uh, leaf blowers going on and some construction. It's usually a pretty quiet neighborhood, but in the middle of the day, that's when they uh, get a lot of the work done in here. The one bedrooms are on the market for 290 and 299, and the two bedroom is on the market for 450. The one bedroom square footage is at 646 and 690 approximately, and the two bedroom is at just under a thousand square feet. We've all been on the market for a few weeks, as well as a couple price reductions. Now this is a uh, pretty large building here in the neighborhood. I think it's the biggest condo building. It has several hundred properties on it. But what's unique about this building in particular, in this neighborhood, is that you get parking. They have an off-street parking lot that's included, it's gated. You have some amenities here, such as a fitness center, a really neat, Really neat rooftop terrace. You can actually get views of the National Cathedral from it, which is quite nice. And if I can get you there quick enough, you can see that they have a pool. So pretty much really mature trees here all throughout the neighborhood. There we go, now we can see the pool. We do have a lifeguard on duty in season. It is, this building though, is not super pet friendly. It will allow cats, but if you're a dog person, you are out of luck in this building. 
And the other con, if it matters to you for this building, is that they don't have in-unit laundry. They have common laundry facilities in the building, but they also have, they have a neat little package room. And uh, a little fun fact on this one, we're actually off of, this building is 4,000 Ton Law. We're off of Ton Law Road, which with the naming conventions of DC, right, in the Northwest Quadrant, you go from A to Z, and then after you run out of letters, and actually you don't even have Z. I think it's, uh, what is it, J-X, J-X, Y, and Z, you don't have those letters. But after you go through the alphabet, you go into two-syllable words, and it's supposed to be alphabetical. And in this one, Tunla, you're probably wondering, what's Tunla? There's no Tunla. It was Walnut. And for whatever reason, the letters got reversed, and uh, they just kept it and never changed it from Tunla to Walnut. All right, guys, we're going to go to our next property now. All right, guys, we're at our next property here, which are newer condos. Complete, completely redone, top to bottom. Absolutely immaculate on the inside. These are two bed, one and a half bathroom condos. They're about 840 square feet. Their pricing for the two units are 565 and 680 as of right now. And uh, what makes their location highly desirable if it's, if it's your thing is that it's directly across the street from one of the most in-demand elementary schools in town. Whether you use niche.com or great schools or any other website, you have Stoddard Elementary here, which is a reason why there's so many people that have been moving into this neighborhood for these schools. And that's actually one of the reasons why there's a new elementary school being built right now in the adjacent neighborhood or in the Palisades, as well as MacArthur High School. So if, you're, if you live here and you have school age kids, they're gonna be going to MacArthur High School starting next year. That'll be their new zoning from Jackson Reed, formerly known as Wilson High School. These are a sign of this neighborhood as well. Just absolute new builds, replacing some of this older inventory. Guys, we are at the last property. The one is currently listed at 1.5 million. It's a Warburton style row home. It has three and a half bathrooms. It's been redone top to bottom. There's no parking out in front. You have to park in the back. This one's been on the market for a couple months. It was listed at 1.55, so they did have a reduction. It's pretty common in this neighborhood right now as it is the market as a whole if uh, things are at the top unless you're uh you have a lot of strength in the neighborhood right now it's a little bit slower you're going to see some reductions this is a busy busy stretch here as you can see you're off the main road tunla which we talked about you are a block away from wisconsin so you're in the middle of all the things but that it is that is the life here off of this section. It's a bit quieter once you get in the neighborhood though. So I want to show you guys a bonus property here. Now, if you can see behind me, we've got some of these older style multifamily in this neighborhood. And if you look just over my shoulder, you can see the new development that's going in when they tear these down. They're building, taking these from older inventory there were four units to more of a luxury six eight unit plus with parking in the back it's just one of the conversions that are going on in this neighborhood as well as you can probably hear the construction going on around me as well but this is a a sign of change in this neighborhood um, as you see the inventory of these over time will become more like these really beautiful properties here all right, guys, uh, back at the office now. Um, appreciate you going on the tour with me today. If there was uh, something uh, you wanted to, uh, something else you want to see or talk about, feel free to comment below, and um, we can certainly uh, get that arranged for you. Now, in the current market of Glover Park, there are 20 properties on the market, of which uh, two are not condos, so 18 condos, two are row homes. There are no single family detached on the market as of right now. For the condos, it starts as low as 175, if you can believe it, for a, a studio. There's not many studios um, typically in the neighborhood, so one bedrooms are closer to two, uh, and those are, you know, very low amenities. But it goes all the way up to 680 for a uh, two bed, two bath condo. And that one, or those, will be brand new construction. They're gonna have all the bells and whistles. You're gonna have floor to ceiling windows. You're gonna have high end appliances. You're gonna have oak floors. You're going to have all the amenities you want. You're going to have parking in that building or in those buildings as well. Uh, they definitely, you know, kind of built to last for you uh, so you can you can stay for a while. 
the row homes, those are listed um, in the ones we, uh, we saw today. They're at 1.275 and 1.5 million each. And uh, those are also renovated top to bottom, high-end appliances, you know, wood floors, parking in the rear, which uh, is, some, is definitely a benefit of the neighborhood. Not every property has parking. So you'd have to you know, rely on street parking, which there is an abundance of in this neighborhood. There are other neighborhoods in DC like Columbia Heights where parking is super tight, but uh, thankfully in Glover Park, you can park uh, if you need, you can park in the street if you need additional parking. And if you are a resident, you, there are no parking restrictions. Visitors, you'll have uh, two hour limits or you can get a visitor pass if you're gonna have family in town for, for days on end. Um, now, in terms of the inventory on the market, there is roughly three and a half months of inventory right now, which uh, we define as a, a seller's market typically, uh, but it's, it's really close. What we define as a seller's market is when it's four months or less and a buyer's market is four months or more. So it's right on that line. Um, I would think it's, it's a very fair market. If um, when I looked in, uh, what has closed recently, more than half of the deals had some form of a contingency or an appraisal. Uh, and that number is actually a little bit higher because the new construction ones didn't have those as much. They had a uh, bill of warranty, so they didn't include that in the deal. And um, also with that neighborhood, only about just under a quarter of the transactions were cash transactions. You see those from investors who are looking to buy in the neighborhood since there are a, a decent number of renters. Uh, so if you have a condo, there's a likelihood you could eventually uh, rent it out as an investment property in the future if that's something you so desire to do. Um, now comparing it to 21, uh, it's not truly a fair comparison. We had a, a meeting last week where the CEO of Bright MLS spoke and he didn't think comparing things to 2021 was a great a great comparison because it was such an odd year with COVID and uh, really uh, advocated for comparing things to 2019. So using both of those numbers or a blend, 2021, there was about, um, there was about six months of inventory in that neighborhood around, around this time. And even in 2019, there was five and a half months. So it is a little bit of a stronger market right now with uh, people looking to move back into the city. Uh, in 2020, it was there was very low transaction volume uh, compared to now it was in, in some uh, some instances, there's over 12 months of inventory in town for certain neighborhoods, and it's certainly a lot stronger now that things have gotten a little bit more back to normal, so to speak. And then also looking at uh, your ability to negotiate in this neighborhood, I, I feel it's pretty strong. When you look at the closed price versus what it was originally listed for, oh, roughly three out of four uh, properties closed at less than their original list price. So you have room to negotiate. You can protect yourself with inspections and appraisals by and large in this neighborhood. Uh, versus other areas um, so it's it's certainly certainly a good uh, negotiating position to be in if you're a buyer and if you're a seller you just really need to price it fairly and do the things you need to do to get ready so if there's anything we missed or anything else you want to talk about please comment below and as always like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in dc and um, i hope to see you around town